What's up, YouTube? I just want to make a quick video talking about three-phase hub motors and how to rectify them to a constant DC output. So this came off of a scooter. I just got it kind of for, you know, 20 bucks on eBay. And when I started trying to check the power coming out of the wires, I realized that it was a three-phase motor. So there's three different alternating current uh, phases of power as the magnets spin past all the coils inside the motor. And so I wanted to convert that to a constant DC output so that I could charge a battery bank. And to do that, I took these six diodes out of an old projector circuit board and I made a three-phase full bridge rectifier uh, circuit. And just so the output from this rectifier will be constant 36 volt DC while this thing is spinning. I was hoping to use it on a wind turbine that I made. It's actually sitting over there on the floor. And that may never actually happen because I think the wind turbine's blades were too small to deliver enough power to really drive this thing to produce anything. You know, I, honestly, you'd be better off just getting solar because solar is like a dollar per watt and requires like no, you know, I mean, I really just wanted the hands-on experience, but if you just want to produce power, solar is the way to go because it just doesn't take any effort to get the power out of a solar cell. Whereas to get power out of a wind turbine, you have to build the whole turbine, balance it, and have all the parts and have wind, have a controller, and, you know, it's just not really feasible for a DIY project. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, first of all, how to how, what a three-phase full bridge rectifier looks like when you make it yourself. You can see the three phase wires coming in here connecting to three different sets of diodes. And that's so that the positive and negative voltages are all converted into positive voltage DC. You can search YouTube, there's tons of different videos that show you how this works. And then I just wanted to show you, uh, just to end the video, actually driving this motor with a drill and a belt and show you how it produces uh, DC voltage now and DC amperage and power. It should produce about 250 watts, but the more power you draw from it, the higher the resistance is going to be from the EMF inside the motor. So here we go. I'll do this really quick. Alright, hope you enjoyed that and maybe learned something, and I'll see you guys later.